Okay guys, this is what I think is the best budget laptop for the money. It is a Lenovo, Lenovo, however you say it. It is an Idea Pad Flex 5. It does have, you can flip the screen around backwards. And it does have a, a Ryzen 7 and it has 16 gigs of RAM. And it does have a um, graphics accelerator. But I've got what, five desktops and two laptops. And for years now, using my tacky camera, I have not been able to utilize 4K because in any of the other computers I have, the video would either take like 40 hours to render or it would just lock it up. Okay, it was all right when I'd use these little Call of Duty action cameras hunting, but especially about a year ago when I got started filming with the mini and I would do 4K, uh, the video was useless because I had no way of rendering, rendering it. All I could do was 1080p. So I set out to find a platform where I could render 4K. And this is it. After tons of research, this is the best budget laptop that I could find. Another thing is it is touchscreen. You can flip it around and it'll be touchscreen just like a tablet. You can just... And it'll play your video just like that. It has really good quality screen. Hey, this is remember. a budget laptop, remember? So you're not going to get... It's only five miles. You're not going to get... If you want to do color grading and so forth, you might want to find a better a better screen, but seems to work for me pretty good. I'm just mainly doing editing on this computer. I uh, don't really know how to do color grading, but it is really fast. Pulls the video up like wow. that. I can, but what I wanted you know. to show people and you know, looks pretty real. Know it. Looks pretty good to me. On the very top. So it is touchscreen. It is fast. The sixty. You do need sixteen gigs of RAM to be doing um, editing. Uh, the ports are sort of limited. You do have an SD slot right here where you can put in with an adapter. You can put in your like in the mini and cell phones. We have two. USB ports right here so I can plug a mouse in because I'd much rather have a mouse going on or be touching the screen. Uh, the power does go through a USB-C. It does not come with the power adapter there and that's an HDMI. Okay, I cannot seem to find any kind of speaker headphones to fit in that one. I do know they changed a while back but Anyways, the audio is halfway decent in it. I actually am pretty impressed with it for a laptop. But it is a laptop, you know, so, but. What I use for all my editing, I have never bought any video editing software, I always use OpenShot. It's an open source free video editor and that's all I really know how to use and I don't want to learn anything new. I don't like learning curves. Um, I'm really impressed with it. And when I first was trying to use this with 4K or even the 1080i stuff on my other laptops and desktops, it would take hours to render video, okay? This video here is approximately 40 minutes long, and it will render 4K in under an hour. So I'm pretty impressed with this budget laptop. It does have a fingerprint. Push that when you want to log in so you don't need to know passwords. It is sort of a flimsy keyboard if you watch, but this isn't really a heavy duty workstation. This is just to render video and we're gonna keep it clean and no other programs on it. Just what needs to be on it. 
So I just thought I'd do a quick video on what I use to render 4K video on a budget laptop. I believe this is one of the best ones you can get for the amount of money. I bought it on eBay and I had it in two days and I've really been impressed with it. Most of the other ones are a couple thousand dollars and for, for what I do, I think this does just great.